Hey and welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm going to share with you some tips on how to creating simple and easy packages for your clients. Tip number one is to keep it simple. So don't overcomplicate it, don't use too much words, difficult words, words that people don't understand. Um, that we might use in the industry or like digital high-res images. I had a lot of clients ask me, what does that mean? So um, I put high-resolution images on a USB, for instance. So make sure your wording is easy. Anyone could understand it. It's a no-brainer. And make sure your packages are simple to understand. So pretty much you can label it as in dot points, one, two, three, things like that. So it's very easy for the, the non-English speaker or, you know, depending on your clientele, so it's easy for them to understand. Because if it's complicated, they're just going to move on to the next photographer they've inquired with. Number two is only have a few options. So don't create six and seven and eight and nine, ten packages. I keep it to three, maybe four sometimes if we have a promotion going on. Um, but I like to keep it to three. And I always try and make the, th the middle package my minimum um, you know, amount I want to make for every single session. So that's pretty much all you need to know for creating packages. But always remember how much you want to make, your, ca your cost of goods, your cost of doing business and things like that as well. You need to take that into consideration. And tip number three is easy to upgrade. By that I mean, so if I have three packages, I make the middle one my minimum I'd like to make. So hardly anyone buys my bronze package. They either go for the middle, the silver or the gold package. And it's a no-brainer to upgrade from the silver to the gold or from the bronze to the silver. So you've got to actually do a bit of brainstorming and figure out how you're going to do that and to make it a no-brainer. So you might want to add more images or, you know, just a little bit more dollars on top. If they spent it, they get the bigger packages, things like that. And a good idea to have a think of is any business you shop at, you know, if you go, say, just a cup of coffee, um, if you get the medium size compared to the large, it only defers for a few cents or something like that. So you're like, I might as well get the large and pay that extra 30 cents or 50 cents or a dollar. So think of it that way and keep an eye out next time you go shopping as well. So they're my three tips on how to create easy and simple packages for your clients. I really hope they helped you in some way. Um, if you have any tips, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to go and download my free newborn session guide at thephotographersociety.com and follow me over on Instagram as well. I'll catch you next week for another video. Until then, take care.